Steve here from Advanced Global. And the question that we have before us today is about setting um, client portal access for a, a client's contact. Um, not sure exactly what the challenge is, but we're going to walk through the process of activating uh, the client portal for a contact in Autotask. And uh, maybe there's a checkbox that's being missed or something like that. So I'm in Advanced Global's demonstration database. We're looking at the recommended service technician dashboard. Um, <clears throat> The, where we recommend three widgets across the top. The first one is the ready to engage widget where the text can engage at will on the tickets. And this widget is sorted by next SLA event due date. So as long as the text work from the top down, they'll always be working on the next thing they should be working on. So they will always know what should they work on next. Um, next to it is their service calls when they're scheduled to work directly with the customer. We're looking at technician three. So they have till January 24th at 5.30 p.m. Uh, where they're scheduled to engage directly with the customer. Until then, they are free to work the ready to engage widget. And then typically when you see uh, techs working a list of tickets, uh, my task and tickets, or maybe a queue view, um, they keep skipping over um, tickets from time to time because they're in a waiting status. Well, we have removed those from the working list over and put them in this waiting status tickets. This is where your waiting customer, waiting pending, waiting vendor all go. So the tech can still see them. Total visibility um, still owns them and can manage them, but it's out of their way um, from their um, ready to engage list of tickets that they can work on from the top down. So from here, I'm going to go to the admin module. And I've bookmarked the admin module by clicking the gold star up here in the right corner. Um, if it's not gold and yours, click on it. It turns gold after you selected it. We're going to extensions and integrations. We're going to the client portal. <clears throat> So I'm going to look at managing clients and I'm going to search for customers. And here's our demonstration customers. And I'm just for grins going to pick customer nine. And so let's scroll down. You'll notice first that for this customer, it is enabled a um, couple of options in here that you can read through. But this is a prerequisite to being able to activate. And we have uh, Serena Gorgonzola, Gorgonzola here. So let's just click on that. And this does take us to um, their profile or their contacts page. Um, and you will notice that um, everything looks active here. This is all working. So now we're going to go to the client portal tab here. And you will see this activate client portal uh, checkbox. So we're going to check that. And earlier when I was practicing, I was going around and around. And it wasn't taken. I missed this save button right here. So click save there. Scroll up. Don't see any errors. So I'm going to click save and close again. And then I'm going to scroll down and see if it worked. Voila, it works. So I hope this answers your question. If you have any other questions about how to activate contacts in the client portal, uh, just give us a, a shout. Send me an email to sbuyze at agmspcoaching.com. Again, that is sbuyze at agmspcoaching.com. Dot com. Thanks. Have an awesome day.